Okay, so basically, um, my new base just arrived in the post, or not the post, the private courier or whatever. And so I figured I'd do an unboxing video, it's really quick. Mostly because I want to show it off, because I'm a massive prick. But here we go, so, i just pop it down on the floor like so. I am in my PJs and a Christmas jumper. It is also the middle of August. Um, so here's the here's the actual box. Oh, move that to the other. Turn the TV. Got that. Uh, detail. Yeah, I did order it for Anton's. Um, they were really cool about it. Plus, I got um a case which you'll see for 15 quid with it instead of 25. Just a standard suspended uni. Um, the actual base I got was a Squire um, a vintage modified um, uh, Mustang. A vintage modified Jazz just over there. Really liked it. Played this one in the local store and really liked that as well. So decided to get it. Um, luckily, I work at Sainsbury's so you get a free cutting tool. So open up all the cardboard boxes there, so it just makes this one way easier. Ah. I can already see there's going to be a lot of like, paper and shit in this. Which I guess is a good thing. Bubble wrap. I'm going to cut along the sides I think. <laughs> yeah, so that's the case I got with it for 15. It looks alright, I just need. I've only got one case at the moment, so. <laughs> More paper and shit. Okay. A massive bubble wrap. Just, just one entity. Completely made and comprised of bubble wrap. Kind of looks like how I guess a mummy would look like if we saw it in nowadays. Who knows? It looks really tiny, and that's because it's actually a short scale model. Um, I was a bit hesitant at getting a short scale at first because lots of people say the same and such isn't as long or whatever, but I found the, um, the sustain on this to last pretty much as long as I needed it to. Plus, it's got um, the Seymour. Duncan design uh, Mustang splits, which had a really punchy and really nice tone. Basically, it can get all the tones that my Jazz doesn't, which is kind of what I needed. And oh my god, this fucking bubble wrap. What is this? Uh, it just literally completely covered the fucking. Jesus Christ! They really didn't want this to get broken. I guess we'll get... <sighs> All right. Okay. Almost there. <laughs> Almost there. Okay, there we go. This one was an X display model, actually, as it happens. So, here it is. New base. You, uh, the plastic on this is all bubbled and has a couple of dents and scratches in it, so I can only imagine that the um, scratch play itself does, but i am never been totally worried about that. Like I said, uh, this is actually an X display model. This is the last one they had in the store. It's only one store, so they couldn't order a new one in from somewhere else, I don't think. But again, I didn't mind about that. But one of the most important things about this base, which I'll show you in a second, right, this exact base, because it's an X store model, is a, um, hold on, take that plastic off, eventually. There we go. So yeah, we've got 
Actually, it's not that bad. There's like a little chip here and stuff which the camera probably won't pick up. But I think they polished it before shipping it out, which is nice of them. So yeah, short scale. Um, the action is actually... It's actually really um, low, and it feels really good. Um, they've still got the price tag from being in the actual store on it, because why not? And um, okay, so here's here's the, one of the reasons they were um, they sent me a bunch of pictures via to my email because they were worried or wanted to make sure. There's actually you can see here the black from the finish is actually just spilled into some more of the body. And I think they were expecting me to be like completely upset about that. As it actually happens, I think it looks awesome. Um, I I quite like it. It's like it gives it like a nice little bit of individuality. It means I'll probably be the only one to own a base like that. Like all oh, this base with that. It really feels way more punchy. The string spacing is a little bit closer than my um. Uh, jazz. Um, it's got maple neck with some cool little like flex and stuff. Like, so it makes it look a little bit more like a sort of bird's eye maple, I guess. Actually, yeah, it's quite for a maple neck. This one looks. I uh, don't think it's going to pick it up, but this one actually looks quite figured in comparison to my jazz as well, which also has a maple neck, which I'm quite cool with. Um, yeah, so those are the Duncan design splits. You can see a little Duncan design there. Um, crazy small scale. It's 21 fret. Um, big old bridge here, which is a string through, which is nice. I guess that kind of makes up for the sustain you would lose having it a short scale. That's about it, really. Um, I can't. I think it was a base wood body. But I wouldn't quote me on that. Yeah, and I, I think the strings they put on it straight away are Daddario. I don't know much about strings, but it's got little coloured ends, so I'm just going to assume that's the dealio. Yeah, so that's that's my new base. Good times, good times.